with hearts. Okay. I, like, I don't really know how to get value here. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. But, I mean, that's amazing. We're printing regardless, right? <clears throat> He's good enough to turn into a bluff if he feels like I have 10s or 9s or something. Boom. Amazing. <sighs> Table change in the 5k. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just gonna be the same suspects of... Ridiculous. Oh, yeah, okay. What did he do last time? Knocks us out of some tour. Oh, he's the... Is he the 1k guy? Is he the 500 guy? I think so. He's the 7-6 offsuit guy, right? And then shove sixes and we busted to him in the 500 deep. Could be, could be. Interesting spots. You guys think I like that river? Nah, I didn't think so. be up to him and it's also like i understand we both wanted to do a fight once so i completely understand if he's like yeah okay what well, that part of my life is over i'm not doing that anymore him specifically i don't think there is a Too much of a chance that it's a bluff. Okay, I'm getting really frustrated. I'm just losing every fucking hand. Looks like we're through with calling in the 5k, guys. Buds, should put the pimp hat with the shirts. My goodness, man, these are negative tasks. If you think I'm doing all this willing, you're crazy. And a really strong hand here as well. Against Tinu, we're gonna flat. That's a good turn. Against Tinu here, we have Jack High Flush in a 5k. A7 there, too bad on the river, he might fall you bet otherwise. Of 
Alrighty. I'm Woey, thank you for the three months. Spoke a big B, thank you for the 23. Oops, I did it again. Maximus 271, thank you for the 14. That was a big pot in the Omaha. Nice stable, pretty chill. Aces in the 5k. Easiest stable I've ever seen in my life. Ah! This just got- oh, no, Fedor is good. Yeah, this is, It's got a whole lot easier. Tinu 22k from the big blinds. Fiedor calls. Interesting, huh? Okay. Maybe there's some sun on the horizon. Could win this, could not. I mean, there's one thing fucking sure, and that's that I didn't bet the flop with air. So that protects me. Crazy faults. Against Fedor in the 5k. Top 2, that's pretty fucking nice. Uh, against Fedor, he checked the turn back. I'm gonna fault the fives. Blocks, thank you for the raids. Oh my god, late nights. Holy shit. Did the babysitter fall asleep? Thank you so much, Blocks, for the raids, guys. Show them some love. If you want to watch a Minecraft from a poker enthusiast, definitely check out Blocks. The more I see the hoodie on likes, the more I like it. Oh my god, don't do that. Don't get infatuated with this hoodie. Man, I don't know. Like, I literally don't know. 35 VB? I'm intrigued. 
If uh, Big Ron shoves, we're gonna go for this. We have to, even though it's a 5k. Especially because it's a 5k, actually. Can't uh, really fade plus EV spots. Come on. Nice! Uh, a folding 10s here, but that's because this guy qualifier, I think. He watches the stream. Not that that matters. But he's a qualifier, I think, and he shows 25 big blinds over an early position open, so I am not too keen on this range. I really want to see the cards. I did good there. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, you don't want to see people that qualify into these tournaments go out like that. This is good. We really suck if we got check raised here. Good. Good. 5k table. 200k first. Let's fucking go. Let's uh let's break that 6k uh, six digit barrier. Really good flop in the 5k. Sorry. Ich durfte. Thank you very much for the sub and all those 799 with 3 months. Thanks guys. Thanks. Fantastic turn. <laughs> don't bear the boards. Don't don't bear the boards. Don't bear the boards. Good, good, good. That gave me a little bit of, uh, yes, a little bit of Suka Bliad feeling, you know. Suka Bliad fucking river. Fuck your mother river. Suka. No, don't say that shit, Simon Short, then we're fucking idiots. Tenu Murder. Tell me how goes it. Hmm. I don't know if my clubs and hearts also are gonna be good, so I'll fold this time.
Hmm, interesting. That's not good. I wonder how many traps are up if I check. He had a nine. Um, if Ape Cell shoves, we call. All right, here we go. I mean, I have to call this. He has lots of eights and sevens and fives and fours and threes and deuces. So good luck. Boom, nice. Fucking amazing. Oof. What did I bust? Reese risking Jack in the 500 hyper. Okay. This might be a bit spewy. But if I'm gonna spew anywhere, let it be in the fucking 5k. Zizomatic, thank you for the 13 months, buddy. <laughs> Yo, Vrolik, thank you for the 24 months, buddy. It's good to see you. Hope things are keeping well with you. If I'm playing a 5k, anybody can register a 5k, man. You just need $5,200. You don't need skill. I know it sounds sickening, but there is people who play these kind of tournaments for fun. Quite pleased with a check here. Fuck, I thought he checked. I don't necessarily have to win if he checks. But I don't think he's gonna value better an overpair, but.
Man, please don't say fucking things like rip mic. That's really fucked up. Labor is close for the 5k, always nice. Oh yeah. 220k first, wow. Made the guarantee well over. Oh god. I mean, it's not under the gun. This is mid position. Okay, qualifies. Do you think it's better to master Pilo instead of Hold'em strictly in terms of profits? No. Hold'em is where it's at right now. Pilo looked like it was going to take over. There were times when there were just like 20 Pilo games or something running. Not the best flop. Nice. Real good. Okay, so 27 people finishing the money here. That's 26 people away. But 26 people away. Imagine, like, pick 26 people from this fucking field that have to go. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. There's enough people that are going to go willingly. Good luck more with the 12s on poker. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the guy was a fucking grade A troll. For my royal flesh. <laughs> This is a pretty good board. Um, one I'm never check raising, so I'm just gonna have to adhere to a check call. So he goes for like the one fifth sizing and not the two thirds sizing. All right, two thirds. I have thirty bigs. I'm actually just gonna check shove. Fuck this guy. Fuck that guy. Who the fuck is that guy? Come on, ape. They folded against my 10 9 min race. That's massive. Come on, let's fucking go. So important to send. Look at the size of this pot. We either go to 630 if we win, or we go to fucking 3. 30 the difference <sighs> queens in the 5k i think there's gonna be some three bets common okay i'm just gonna show her i don't really want to slow play queens that's Okay. All right, now so let's go. Nice. With hearts. Okay. Holy shit. I like I don't really know how to get value here. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, but I mean, that's amazing. We're printing regardless, right? He's good enough to turn shit into a bluff if he feels like I have tens or nines or something. Boom. Amazing. <sighs> gonna flop a six here, it's gonna be glorious. Oh my god. Against the chip leader. <sighs> that was a good call with the eights. Let's 
Most likely a bigger raise, actually. I don't know! I don't know! You know what? But fucking how would I know? How the fuck would I know, mates? 11 spots away from the money with chip leading. 220k first. What? What? There's 30 people left. 3 need to bust. We are... Ooh. Mikita Badzilkuski. Big stack. Tino, big stack. Pascal et Francois. Big stack. Sam Green with big stack. The Russian mob, Hello Totti. I mean, it's not, but that's that's what I hear people refer to them as, Hello Totti and uh, Black 88. That's kind of like a nickname. coming um i saw somebody in the chats i think i kind of auto piloted i think you're right it's nine versus Marta tour was a call earlier that i followed on the button i kind of followed without thinking about it but i have to like in those moments also be super in tune with the fields you know I have the Eight of Diamonds, I think it's uh I think the Eight of Diamonds is a really good uh, card to bet big here. Interesting. Let's take a look. So 25k blinds. We have 8, 8, 12, 13, <clears throat> 15, 17, 18, Kappa, 16, 16, 17, 17, 17. So lots of shorties. So even the next four spots should go quite quick. That extra 3k in there. Nice. I mean, it's nice. Like, what if he has a hand, you know? <laughs> I lose 350k. That's not good.
Oh, Julian. This will be betting my high cards. Interesting. Julie John, thank you for gifting the ten subs, buddy. What, somebody sitting out? Maybe it's just like fuck this. Thirty big blinds. Pretty nice flop. Let's try to bait him there. He had eights, okay. Fold quicker. Dominic is very is all about that defending life. But he is still not gonna hit a whole lot of that boards. Because he really shouldn't be defending four deuce four deuce off, three four off, five four off, those sort of things. Interesting. Interesting, interesting spot. Nice. Whew. Fedor is gonna be all in soon, which is what all the others are waiting for. Yeah. <sighs> nice, holy shit. <laughs> everybody else. Oh my god, a fair. Okay, I was gonna say. So everybody else gets free fucking hands now. Akari makes it, Fedor makes it. You guys all owe me a thousand dollars. Hey. Alright, so uh, guys, now is a crazy part because four people get knocked out and we make $3,000 more. And we see an all-in. An all-in. An all-in. <laughs> so, that's crazy. Fader's out. Whoa. What the actual fuck's going on? Queens? That car is dead. GG, buddy. Okay, we did good on the bubble. This is a fucking 5k, you know, this is not a bad graph. We're in a strong company here, so we're guaranteed 14k. All right, so we gotta play down to 9. What an amazing, uh, amazing little uh, finale like this. All right, so 23 people left. As you can see, still lots of shorties. Uh, 8 people bust and we, go, and we take another 3k money jump. So a little bit further away than the last one. It's gonna be very competitive to the final nine. Oh, three-way all in at our table. Okay. Okay. Alright, so see Justin now it's Dingebricker hits one. 
Tino Milder is himself one of the best tournament players. Had two million dollar finishes last two million dollar cash this last five months. Tino Milder from Holland. Mikita Bajakowski, um, one of the better cash game players from like the 2008 to 2015 era or something. Um, played all the high stakes. Now transitions to tournaments. You see him a lot on the Triton Tour. Pascal Francois has been playing high rollers for as long as I can remember. Also live. Hello Totti has just been playing high rollers for as long as I can remember. Don't know him. Sam Greenwood, really good. Um, oh, this is yeah Ap Aponokov, um, really good player. Uh, he plays during the daytime a lot, which in which he gives me a lot of trouble because he's just one of the best ones there. Naza, uh, João. Jean Vieira Vieira. Uh, Dinge Brinker, don't know. Connor Bresford is uh, number one ranked online tournament player right now. Oxo Oxota is Daniel Devoris. You also see him on the Triton Tour a lot. While Ace Hanish is a good player, Wizard of Az is a good player. Rui NF is uh, one of the best online tournament players. Same crew as Naza. Razor Blinds, I think, is a cash game pro turned tournament pro. Bankroller has won two tournaments. Uh, this series and it's just a high stakes regular Watson Lowe's amazing regular is Christian Rudolph sevens guy um these two guys I don't know who are in real life e27 is as good at PLO as he is at Hold'em it's this guy is insanely talented insanely talented I'd be lying to myself and I'd be playing too many tournaments like I don't beat this field like I'm good enough to make a dent in it and a run in it I can play competitively but if I play this field, okay, what's important, right? Like when I say, do I beat this field? I have a few nice scores. I got some nice caches, etc. Now, the true question is, what if I play this field 200 times, a thousand times? That's the question. Do I win then? I don't. <laughs> Maybe by the end of the thousand times, because I'll get better. But like in all fairness, I don't. So, And that's... Uh, that's very important to know because then I can stay realistic. It would be different if I played 25 5k, so around $25,000, didn't cash a single one. I can tell you I'd be done pretty quickly. Fucking Connor is unreal, dude. Holy shit. And I've cashed a few, so now I, uh, I kind of have the funds. And that's kind of how the DGen fund started, right? Even the 2k that I won in Stadium Series is not a tournament I'd normally play. crazy when you play against these guys you always kind of think like oh here comes the check raise you know oh I seem capped because I checked the turn here comes the check raise beat these I'm I'm smoking crack that's a rough run for Naza oh wow it's only a few spots away from the next bubble this king. Here we go. Please don't have some insane hands. Bless me with the horseshoe. GG, bud. Reflection. Thanks, mate.
I think it's okay. Something in a tournament like this, but you know, Jerry Yang wins the World Series of Poker. So it's just more like anything can happen. All right, 14 people left in two spots. We have 4K money jump, 21,000. Five people left to bust for this tournament to go to day two. How much would you sell your 3 million stack for? What will my stack be worth now? 100,000 or something? He does famous for thinking all his time banks. He does it live as well. I think there's going to be a lot of checkbacks from uh, Mikita on the river. I think that with a lot of these bets, he's freezing the action. So he's going to be like, you know, he might have a hand like sixes or fives or some shit. Quite frequently there. I don't think I have to be too worried about overfolding this river if he bets it because he just goes to a completely different part of his range that's fine with me <laughs> 13 people left 4k money jump in one person out Lux, I love you, but you make more dollars from streaming and Pokestars relationship than actual poker. Let's say that was true. Why would that matter? Um. No linear. Tens holds. They do. New money jump. Mm, I think I'm bluffing turn. My bets are really strong here, so. Oh, such a nice turn barrel. Fucking awesome. All right, Kings. Guaranteed 21,000. We need three people to bust for the next money jump of 5k, but most more importantly, the final table. Oh, that's six's turn, but I like it.
Nice. Larity Carry, nice to see you so deep in the 5200. Great work, keep it up. Thank you, buddy. Sold action on this 5k? No. Nice! Because obviously it's good. Good marketing. Whoa, Simon. I'm doing the dirty on Connor. Oh my god, Connor is unreal. Connor is unreal. Let's have to three bit call this. This is just the way it is. That's it. That's it. We're on the final table. Holy shit. Three out of nine. Final table. We're guaranteed. Oh, this is amazing. Let's play some transfiguration for this one. This was a fucking sick sweat. Oh my god. Whoo! Oh, we have nine people left. That's amazing. What a final table to make. 26,000 guaranteed, and this one 220k for first. What a fucking grind it's been. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, so our online score is 96,000 said yesterday i really want to break that fucking five digits six digit mark man i love the fucking buzz that comes with a big one like this i think my hand is a little bit like too good to raise you know what i mean like i have a lot of full equity here king seven plays very well post Pretty good flop. Not a good turn, obviously. I can still call. I mean, in my limp calling range, I'm gonna have. Uh, since he expects me to, uh, since he expects me to play pretty aggressive preflop because of the short stacks, I do feel like he's gonna take quite some high card hands out of my range, which means that I hit this board a lot better. Fantastic, which means I can just go to showdown, which is awesome. Ace queen high. Look at that. It's a good pot. Interesting. I like his big bet sizings in terms of strategy. I don't like him in terms of being on the receiving end. Um, that's all right.
this thing over. Really good. Nice sense. If we get shoved, we call. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty disgusting. Would have been second in chips with the player outs. Would have really elevated us to 5 million. We could have been co-table captain there. Really fucking brutal. It's not what you want to see happen at this stage. All right, GG bankroller. GG bankroller, that's one person out. It's always good for the blood to be shed. Um, now eight people left, 33,000 guaranteed, so that was a 7k money jump. Oh my god, just like that, Fish4 is out, Connor does Connor things. Ooh, look at that, that's spicy, 43k now. 43k, next money jumps 13k, seven people left now, we still have two short stacks. It's amazing to see uh, 30 big blind stacks going out. What percentage of winnings goes right back into DGEN funds? To be really honest with you? 100%? I <laughs> think the DGEN fund is expensive! Blood, 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 blood. <laughs> That's what we want to see. I mean, if, the two sh if just the two short stacks at the table, if only those two bust, we already win 30,000 more. Two people out! 30,000 more. I can't call this if he shoves. If this is at the start of the tournament for these big blinds, I'm snap calling this, but... At this stage, that would be pretty bad. I hope that he thinks that I'm terrible at this. Um, Pretty good. Boom. Oh, nice. That's amazing. Chips our way. GG Tinu, one of the sickest in the game. Okay, here we go. Go Sam Greenwoods. That's fucking awesome. That's 20k for the boys. And we skipped the big blinds. What a treat. Holy shit. All right, we're fifth. We're stiff last. But 74,000 in the bag. Not bad. Hey, <laughs> not bad. I mean, sure, he hits a lot of hands on this board, but also I'm gonna get all of his, like, the King-5 suiteds and stuff to fold, right? Let's go for 
the second barrel here. Lots of full equity. Ooh, but it's so sweet when it works. I can't really rep too much 3x, especially in this final table scenario, so... Um, that also means that it's going to be quite a tough end, because if he doesn't give me a lot of 3x and I start check calling, then he might put me more on high cards and start barreling me off more, so... I think the perfect solution here would be a turn deuce. Spade is good. Spade is real good. Because now I can just call, right? If he bets like, let's say he goes for something big, like 550 or something on the turn, or like whatever he targets, whatever he wants to do, then I call, then all of a sudden stuff becomes a lot scarier for him. Yeah, there it is. We have a very easy river decision now too. Like I'm not gonna check raise turns with a three. So my river decision becomes easy. I either make a boat with a deuce or a spade and I call or I fold. This is fucking terrible. Now my deuce is worth nothing. So now I lose the ace highs. But who knows? There's lots of ace highs he checks also, but he might go for the advantage of being able to make me fold a lot. It's interesting though, I could definitely beat hands like Jack-10 and Queen-High and whatever the fuck he has, right? He's a chip leader, so he has everything. But yeah, it's a pretty terrible river, because now he knows all my deuce X has to fold. But hey, King-High good. King-High good, suck on that, Connor. <laughs> Acting tough. Jack 10. Connor. Please fucking destroy him. Every time rooting for the big pots, I have it. Aces versus Queen 10. Three. Connor is short now. I'm in a position where it's advantageous for me to play slower meaning less hands to see if Connor busts first because that'll give me $23,000. Connor has nothing to lose right now because he's by far shortest, so don't expect tight falls from him. So that's how constantly the dynamic changes and you try to kind of, you know, estimate who can put pressure on who. Go, let's try this. Totti 3 and FX, please. Chanty boy, FedEx, thank you for subbing. Good to see you guys. spots because he also has quite a few reasonably strong hands like i don't think he wants to get limb raised when he has fives or ace five suited or king jack or something right he might limp along as well this is a really tough spot come on Fucking Connor, mates. Fucking Connor just beats Queen Jack, beats aces with Queen Jack. This guy is unreal. Ace. Okay, GG Connor. GG Connor. Oh, okay, that's amazing. 23k. Connor gone. 
all is well in the world now. Uh, I, mean, I, I really, really, really respect Connor to bits. Hey, biggest score on stream. <laughs> hey, nice. Can we breach the fucking six digits? Do we just limp to get shoved on? I think we do, right? A uh, really good turn generally for us to bet. So I definitely want to bet here. Fantastic situation. I think we're gonna have to go for value here. Single raise pot. I actually think that uh, there's definitely a decent chance that some of his jack. Uh, the question is, do we get value though? Fuck with a hard hand. Oh my god, he turned two pair. Oh, GG, 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 that's disgusting. Oh my god. I think the limp is really good. Good game, good luck. I think the limp is really good. Just like that, it sets up. Kappa? It is? Yeah, just like that, it sets up. Two players gone. Congrats to everyone for their caches and shit. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to check fold the river. I think I miss value if I check. Um, the reason why I limp preflop is because I'm, you know, there's only one other short stack, but it's clearly an ICM spot. He has so much more than I do. I want to limp a lot, right? In ICM spots where people can pressure me, I want to limp a lot. I want to have like a limping and shoving strategy when I have 19 big blinds here. So I have 19 bigs, I feel like I either shove or limp, and then, yeah, this is a clear trapping hand. Um, and then we flop. We flop this, which is fucking beautiful. That one is very hard to see coming, obviously. I'm not check folding River either, you know, because he can turn some of his floats into bluffs or like a, like a 3x that he doesn't think it's good or something to pressure some of my, you know, 10x or whatever the fuck. But yeah, I think I can be very happy with the way I played. I'm super happy with how I played because I got lots of folds in spots. You know, I bluffed somebody off uh, nines. I had really good assessment of other situations. And we have a glorious fucking <clears throat> stream record by a thousand. 97k score. 97,000 we just won. Holy shit.